Yes. Um, again, we know we can't directly add in negative 6, right? So therefore, we want to look into factoring this. So when we go ahead and factor this, uh, factor the numerator, let's see, we're going to be dealing with x plus 6 times x minus uh, 2. Factor my denominator, I'm going to have x minus 6 times x plus 6. Notice x plus 6 is divide out. x minus 2 over x minus 6. And again, what am I trying to evaluate the limit for? I'm trying to evaluate negative 6 from the left. However, is this function continuous at negative 6? Does negative 6 make this function go to 0? The denominator goes zero. No, so it's continuous. So what happens when we have a, con a continuous function at a value? We need to find the limit. We just plug it in. That's it. Plug it in. So that equals negative 6 minus 2 over negative 6 minus 6. So don't remember, guys, we only want to use these numbers and so forth when we're approaching something from the left and the right. So therefore, we get negative 8 over negative 12 which is pos going to be 8 twelfths. And again, since you guys don't have a calculator, you could reduce this fraction, which we've usually previously liked. But for this course, I would prefer you not to spend your time or mental calculation reducing the fraction. Just leave it non-reduced. OK? Your time is much better spent